I'm here at the uh, Modernism Show, and I'm talking to uh, Robert Summers. And uh, several years ago, I think it was around 10 years ago, is that about right? Uh, it might be a little longer than 10. Maybe 15 years ago. Yeah, it could ago. be 15. It all sort of melts together. Okay. Right? That you had, uh, you had uh, sold a collection of one of the most uh, famous female potters, if not the f most famous female potter. That's Beatrice Wood. And um, so you told me that you you sold a collection that was her friend's collection. Is that right? Her best friend's? Mm -hmm. And what was the name of her best friend? Rhea Case. C-A-S-E. And uh, how did you happen to acquire that collection? <clears throat> uh, Mrs. Case's uh, husband had died and she contacted me and was a wonderful, wonderful woman most lovely person so so when, when she called you up how long did it was you were you into the conversation before you realized exactly what was happening you probably get a lot of phone calls but at some point she was talking to you and you realize that this is Beatrice Wood and that you're about to put your hands on one of the great collections of pottery that's a great question and I wish I could honestly answer you and you know my my memory is legendary but I honestly have no recollection of that conversation Frank. okay so then um, so then uh, how did you end up selling it well I sold um, some pieces some there were some great lusters and some great figurative pieces that I sold at shows but I managed to find a very uh, good client in Oklahoma that wanted to buy everything I had and so how many pieces did he ultimately buy several hundred maybe up to 300 paintings and uh, so so you were telling me that that not only did she have uh, the pottery but she painted as well I had paintings I had Christmas was, cards I had there, letters that she illustrated her, I had pots her style and her subjects of her painting did it look like a painted version of, of her pottery yes lots of naked ladies lots of naked ladies was there any chocolate in any of those? Uh, I'm not sure. There were cats, though. She was very bawdy and licentious. And uh, I'm not sure if it was a put-on or if she lived her life in a more open way than we are accustomed to in these purient times. Well, when you're 104, you can be licentious. It's, <laughs> you're given... I'm you're, sure you're she'll be the, happy that you grant her that yeah, dispensation. You're right? given the license to be licentious yes. at that age. Well, she had, they're very, some of them were quite bawdy, uh, but uh, there was, it was, it was wonderful. And perhaps the most interesting thing for me as a writer was I had over a hundred of her personal letters to and from uh, Beatrice Wood. I actually have a lot of stuff still in my in my gallery that I haven't well, even gone through. These letters, was there a particular letter, a particular thought? No, these were just uh, correspondences between best friends from the 1940s to the 1970s. And was there any particular interesting information that you found in those letters? You know, nothing in particular except what uh, that, that I can share, except that it was an extremely warm and open relationship of uh, innermost thoughts shared by friends. And was there interesting innermost thoughts that that you discovered in doing that since she was so Nothing open? Nothing that I'd like to share. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>